Hello, it's Frank, that one web guy, and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about AWS stats and how to do the manual update so that you can see your updates quickly instead of having to wait daily. By default, AWS stats is set to update or refresh the stats once a day. So what I'm going to do first is check to see if it's actually enabled. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing it's not, but we're going to go into the metrics section of cPanel. I'm already logged in to a site. I'm not logged into the site for a while, but I just figured I'd use it for a test. So I'm clicking here on AW stats, and you notice that we have a SSL version and a non-SSL version. I'm not sure why they do that, but uh, that this makes a difference in just a bit. So I'm going to look at the auto SSL, I mean the SSL, and we do have some traffic here. Not a whole lot for this site. I've not been running any marketing or ads for it but you can see that we have some here but if I look up here at the top there is not there would normally be a link here that says um, update or refresh now so what I need to do is you either need to if you if you do not have access to your own server um, if you're not controlling your own server through WHM uh, you would have to contact your web host and ask them to allow to update the server or your your area that you host with to allow users to update stats once they've done that then you can go in and make the next step if you do have access to your own whm all you need to do is go to you log into your whm which you have here um, this is the web host manager and we're going to look for tweak settings Once you're there, over here in the Find button, this is the easiest way to do it, is just start searching for it, just put AWS. And you'll see here an option that says Allow Users to Update AWS Stats from cPanel. And I already have that enabled. Um, if it's not on, just click On and click Save. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our cPanel, click on Home, and then I'm going to go into File Manager. We're going to look in the Temp folder here, so I'm just going to double click. And you see that we have an AW stats. So what I need to do is we need to update two places. First, we have this config file. So I'm going to double click, or right click, I should say, click edit. And we're going to scroll down to a section here that says allow to update stats from browser. So I'm going to switch that from a zero to a one. And I'm going to click save changes. Now, if you recall, I can go ahead and close this now. If you recall, we had two places. We had the SSL and the non-SSL. That was the configuration file for the non-SSL. So we need to go into the SSL folder, and we have a config file there as well. So I'm going to right-click again, click Edit, select Edit again, and scroll down and do the same thing here. So it's about line 155 here. I'm going to select that to 1 save changes and then we're just going to go back to our statistics page and we're going to click refresh and we now have a link that says update now you can see the last time it was updated was seven o'clock seven minutes after seven this morning so i'm going to click update now and that'll refresh it and it'll give me my new numbers that i can go through and check this information now, i know a lot of people use google analytics but aw stats you know is residing on your server there's a lot of good information that you can get uh, you can see which search engines have visited your site and that type of thing um, just like you can in google analytics um, you can kind of see uh, the different areas of the you know what people are looking to your referrals and stuff like that so um, pretty good area to look so just thought i'd let you know about that and i hope you found this video useful thank you